Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where the team of flight controllers is watching over the activities of the Expedition 33 crew aboard the International Space Station. Six crew members continuing their work and research aboard the orbiting outpost, commanded by Sonny Williams, uh, the other American on orbit now, uh, Kevin Ford after his recent arrival uh, in uh, late October uh, aboard uh, Soyuz TMA-06M spacecraft. Uh, also on board uh, are uh, Yuri Malenchenko, who has been on with Sonny Williams since uh, their arrival at the complex in July, and Akihiko Hoshide of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, who rode up uh, to the space station with the other two crew members. Ford rode up with uh, two Russian Federal Space Agency cosmonauts, Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Darylkin, and uh, they arrived at the International Space Station on uh, October the 25th and will be there through March of next year. Today's uh, activities aboard the International Space Station uh, are going to focus primarily on uh, preparations uh, of the new three crew members uh, for their activities aboard the space station uh, after they uh, depart, uh, after their other three crew members depart, uh, and on preparations for the departure of Sonny Williams, uh, Yuri Belenchenko, and Aki Hoshide, uh, which is scheduled for uh, Sunday, November the 18th. Today they're working on uh, maintenance of the uh, waste and hygiene compartment, uh, which is essentially the toilet system on the uh, U.S. operating se segment of the space station. There are two toilets that are basically the same, one in the Russian segment and one in the U.S. segment. This is some recorded video of Aki Hoshide as he worked through uh, the final steps in uh, replacing a dose pump, which is used to insert uh, a certain amount of pre-treat liquid into the uh, waste that is collected in the toilet. And then that starts the recycling process that eventually results after a lot of filtering and, and processing in uh, the water from the crew waste being used once again as clean drinking water aboard the International Space Station, minimizing the need to uh, send water up to the space station aboard the resupply craft uh, and uh, maximizing the uh, use of the resources aboard the space station. Uh, yesterday, the crew uh, had a little bit of a hiccup at the start of their day as the local area network servers aboard the space station uh, failed, and they uh, have since uh, restored all of those network servers, and they're back to normal working conditions with the computer network of laptops aboard the space station. Uh, those were never uh, critical to the functioning of the space station. They were just used to share files and programs with the laptops that the crew uses for their research and operations throughout the day, and uh, they were able to uh, replace the hardware hard drives yesterday and then reboot the systems with uh, images of the software that were already aboard and uh, then do a little bit of uptake and uh, make that all work well again. We uh, do have a lot of activity as uh, Kevin Ford gets ready to uh, take command of the International Space Station. Uh, he'll be taking over for Sonny Williams, uh, and we have a lot of NASA TV coverage planned in the coming weeks of uh, uh, the uh, departure of uh, Sonny Williams, uh, Expedition 33 commander, and Yuri Valenchenko, the flight engineer and the Soyuz commander, and Aki Hoshide of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. That change of command ceremony is uh, scheduled to be televised live. And we'll be bringing that to you at 1.15 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, November the 17th. And in that uh, ceremony, uh, Kevin Ford will uh, officially take the reins of the International Space Station, and then after uh, Williams, Belenchen, Cohen, Hoshide depart, uh, he and uh, Oleg Novitsky and Yevgeny Tarelkin will be aboard the space station uh, uh, by themselves, uh, and that will be until the arrival of the next three crew members going up to the space station uh, arrive there after a launch on December the 19th. Uh, Tom Marshburn of NASA, Chris Hadfield of the Canadian Space Agency, and Roman Romanenko of the Russian Federal Space Agency will be launching about 6.12 a.m. Central Time on December 19th and arriving at uh, the space station on December the 21st, just a few days before Christmas, about 7.30 a.m. Central Time.
Uh, back to that rundown of all the uh, coverage that's coming up uh, regarding the change command ceremony and the departure. Uh, of course, uh, the change command ceremony at 1.15 p.m. Central Time on November 17th uh, on a Saturday. The following day on Sunday at 12.45, we'll have farewell and hatch closure coverage. At 1.10 p.m., we'll have the hatch closure. And then at 4 p.m., we'll begin our undocking coverage. That'll be followed by the planned undocking from the space station of the Soyuz TMA-05M at 4.26 p.m. And then we'll have a slight break until our landing coverage begins at 6.30 p.m. And then landing is set for 7.53 p.m. Central Time as the Soyuz touches down on the steppe of Kazakhstan. We'll have a post-landing video file at 9 a.m. the following day on Monday. Uh, we'll include uh, available interviews with the crew. Again, all that coming up as uh, we look for a change of command and uh, change in crew and look forward to the arrival of the next crew, which will include uh, what will eventually become the first Canadian commander of the International Space Station. Here in Mission Control Houston, Tomas Gonzalez Torres is uh, in charge of the team, uh, working with uh, Clay Anderson as a spacecraft communicator, talking with the crew about the activities going on aboard the space station. And they're working with control centers around the world to make sure that the operations aboard the space station continue smoothly. Those command centers in uh, Moscow, Munich, uh, and uh, Scuba Japan, uh, helping to uh, make sure that all of the important research going on aboard the space station continues apace. Uh, and that the operations run smoothly. This is Mission Control Houston.